Hey everyone, what you're about to see is a cooking demonstration that I did with my friend, Chef AJ. I was cooking the healthiest breakfast ever, and I think it's worth your time to watch. I apologize that the internet was a little unstable and I froze a couple of times, but other than that, I think it's well worth watching and I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks, enjoy. Hey everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today I have an extraordinary chef from Indiana on the show. His name is Glenn Merzer, and Glenn is actually my co-writer in all four of my books. Two of them are in a bundle right now from our publisher, book publishing company. And if you get them before December 31st or on December 31st, he'll not only include free shipping in the USA, but a whole bunch of other bonuses of bonus recipes and videos. If you just click on the link in the chat in the show notes, you'll see what they are. So even if you have one or both, these will make great holiday gifts, maybe stocking stuffers if the stocking is big enough. And uh, that's that. So Glenn is going to show you his favorite breakfast, the healthiest breakfast. Please welcome him to the show. Hi, Glenn. How are you? Good, AJ. So good to see you. How are you? I'm good. I've never seen you in a chef coat. You look very official. Well, you know, many people know me as one of the world's most renowned chefs. I have worked, as you know, for decades in some top five-star Goodyear restaurants throughout the world. I know some chefs make a big deal about Michelin, but I work in Goodyear restaurants. And uh, what I'm going to make for us today is something similar to an oatmeal breakfast. So um, uh, I'm gonna make this breakfast, but not just with oatmeal. Basically what I'm doing here, and this is the way I eat generally, is I follow the advice of the great Dr. Will B. Dr. Will Bushevitz. Um, Bolshevitz. 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 Um, and he makes the point that plant-based diversity is in fact so powerful, so life and health changing that it should be our golden rule of eating. He then describes the different gut healing fiber in a whole list of plant foods and he says eating a diet fully enriched with all the colors flavors uh, and nutritious nature has to offer is all you need remember the golden rule that will never change diversity of plants diversity of plants diversity of plants so why make just oatmeal with oats i make it with oats and then i add buckwheat and then I add oat bran. And because I am a world-renowned chef, I don't even use a measuring cup. I just pour in some oats till it looks right to me after my years of experience. And then I pour in some buckwheat. And uh, there we go. Then I add a little bit of oat bran. Oat bran is very good for reducing cholesterol. So now I've got two grains and, and plus, a, plus the oat bran from the oats. Um, and I always stir with a spoon that is bent and crooked. That adds to the flavor. And so as I stir this, now it's gonna cook for about five to 10 minutes. Um, I then make sure that when I eat the meal, I'm not just eating different grains, I'm eating grains and greens and superfoods and fruit. So I'll show you that when we get to that later. Um, in the meantime, I wanted to mention AJ that as you know, I have admired you for so long for your YouTube show. Um, I think you do the best interviews of any podcast. Um, so you. I decided 
I decided to try to emulate you, and I have started my own podcast, Universal Show, and I am trying to get to two million subscribers. And I'm a little bit shy. I checked this morning, and it, I was at 613. So I need to get another 1,999,387 subscribers, hopefully by next Thursday. So I'm hoping that some of your fans out there will do me a great favor and check out the Glenn Mercer Show. Um, in the last weeks, I have interviewed uh, Dr. Brenda Davis and Corey Davis. I'm very big on interviewing Davises. And pretty soon, I'm going to have a video on with a plant-based cowboy. And no, it's not Howard Lang. So um, I'm trying to emulate you, AJ, because I think you're the best in the field. Ah, uh, thank you. Is Brenda Davis a doctor? You called her Dr. Brenda Davis. I call her Dr. She a dietitian. She is a, 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 is that the correct word? A dietitian, nutrition. No, I, I've called her doctor too because she's sure smart enough. She knows all there is to know about nutrition, and her son Corey is a is a really bright guy. Uh, who, who is an expert on sustainability. Now, AJ, you do so many podcasts every day, at least one a day. Does yep. that, does that, where do you get the energy for that? Uh, I eat plants. I see. So basically, <laughs> so basically you're a vegan then, is that right? Almost 50 years. How about right. you? Um, vegan, I think it's about 35, no, about 33 years. Yeah. First, I was a vegetarian before, before I went vegan. I became a vegetarian at 17. I, I let um, some obese relatives worry me about where I would get my protein. So I kept eating cheese and I stupidly ate cheese for like the first 19 years that I was a vegetarian. And then I started to get heart pains. And I said to myself, now, wait a minute. I, I'm a vegetarian. I know I have bad genes, but why would I get heart pains as a vegetarian? And then I thought, well, the cheese. Cheese is saturated fat and cholesterol. And that's what I was trying to avoid in the meat. So, um, you know, it was just stupid to eat dairy products. And when I gave up the cheese, I never had any heart pains again. And I have never in my life, now I'm in my late 60s, uh, needed any pharmaceutical drugs. Had I gone to a cardiologist, of course, for the chest pains, he probably would have given me. Um, I know, AJ, you talk about the hierarchy of oatmeal. The best are the oat groats. Well, actually, that's from Brenda Davis, I believe. Yeah, you have the oat groat is number one. That's the whole grain. And I right. think it's actually one of the most delicious. Uh, it, it's very toothsome. It's like rice. And with a pressure cooker, you can have it done in five minutes. And then you have the steel cut oats, which is cut with a blade. And then you have the rolled oats, which is cut and flattened and steamed. And then you have the instant oat. Right. And then maybe you have oat flour, I guess. Right. So um, I am using extra thick rolled oats. Not as good as oat groats, but they're quicker. And uh, since they're extra thick, maybe they're just a little better than regular rolled oats. Um, but then I get the added fiber from the oat bran. And then I get buckwheat. And the concept is that every different grain is going to help invite different kinds of healthy bacteria into your gut. And, um, and then the same with every fruit and every other plant you eat. Yep. Okay, so at, I just checked, you're at 613 subscribers. I'm one of them. So I'll put your uh, YouTube link in the uh, chat in the show notes and then maybe other people will subscribe. Oh, thank you so much. I hope they will. Trying to get to two million, it's tough, isn't it, AJ? To get to two million, I'd love to. I'd love to get to a half a million or even a quarter of a million. 
I'm almost at a quarter of a million if I get 5,000 really? people. You are. Almost. I get excited on a good day when I get three new subscribers. But, um, you know, um, I got to get to two million. So if I do three a day, I figure I have to live to about 253,000 years old. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to turn this off now and prepare the boat meal fruit salad. I have a, a Hollywood film crew here with me. Sir, be careful with that boom. Um, and uh, now here's the thing. I don't put the boat meal in a bowl. Full of green has diversity of plants. And of course, Dr. Esselstyn will tell you to eat your greens all day long. So I have different mixed greens. Again, different greens, more diversity. Uh, some arugula in there and mixed baby lettuces. I, I then anointed this with a drop of balsamic vinegar. The vinegar is very good for your gut microbiome too. So on the greens, I put the boat meal. A boat meal. Right. What, what, what's your favorite vinegar? Um, I use, and let me see what this one is here. I use an organic balsamic vinegar um, that uh, is made from, uh, from grapes. And I could tell you what else if I were wearing my glasses. Um, so now you to guess what's in the, yeah, I, I was going to guess blueberries. That's it. Blueberries. Now, can you guess what's in the dark blue purplish ramekin? Uh, blackberries. Blackberries. There you go. <laughs> can you guess, can you guess what's in the red ramekin? Oh, uh, I'm going to guess raspberries. It's raspberries and strawberries. Oh, yeah, I love strawberries. And then finally, for the money, Jay, can you guess what's in the orange ramekin? Oranges, mandarins, satsuma. Kiwis, you don't win. Oh, darn. All right. Then here are powders that are considered superfoods. This is amla powder. It's... Uh, allegedly, allegedly very good for the cholesterol, for all kinds of polyphenols. The, the problem with amla is that it tastes terrible. So you have to put in a small enough amount that you don't taste it. So this is the amla powder that I'll put in and I'll mix it around. And this is moringa, also considered a superfood, all kinds of health benefits. And uh, this tastes a little less bad than the amla. So I put this in and then I put in a tablespoon of flax seeds. Um, often, I didn't cut one up today, but often I use this. This is a fuyu persimmon. Hey, no swearing on the show. No, it's fuyu. That's F-U-Y-U. Just kidding. And um, it's truly delicious. Um, to let you know how we like fuyu's in this household, here's our bowl of fuyu persimmons. So, That's funny because I like the other ones better, the ones that are hard. You like the soft ones better? Well, the thing is, you can eat the fuyu persimmons when they're ripe and soft, or you can eat them when they're hard and not yet ripe. I like them better when they're hard. Yeah, you me too. I like them. Those are, I like them when they're hard. So now just think what you're getting in this bowl of breakfast. You're getting oatmeal, you're getting oats, you're getting buckwheat, you're getting oat bran, you're getting leafy greens, different leafy greens, you're getting balsamic vinegar, you're getting four types of organic berries, you're getting kiwi, and you're getting uh, two superfoods and flax seeds. This is the way to eat it. This is the way to eat all day long is that you, if you're making a sandwich or 
whatever you're making, just add more plants. That looks and beautiful. Don't fall victim to the yeah. Don't fall victim to the tyranny of servings. For example, when I added blueberries, if you look up how many blueberries in a serving, it'll say one cup. Well, I added less than one cup. Who cares? Your your microbiome doesn't care. It just wants the blueberries. So uh, all of this was less than one serve because if I had one serving by the standards they use, it would this this bowl would be too much. There would be too many fruits. Um, but you can use less than an official serving. I don't think your gut biome cares uh, how many blueberries you get as long as you get your blueberries. So that's my approach is just diversity of plants, as many different plants as possible, as many different fruits, as many different leafy greens and even different grains, the healthiest breakfast of all time. And this is why I am a world renowned chef. Nice. Is, is why do you call it boat meal? Because there's just a boatload of oh, oatmeal. Oatmeal. But and oatmeal, and I had a choice of boat meal or butt meal. I didn't think butt meal sounded good, so I went with boat meal. How about buck meal? Buck meal. Buck, buck meal isn't bad. Buck meal, okay. Okay, that's funny. Uh, okay, I'm seeing if there's any questions for Glenn. What have you been up to lately? Are you writing any new books? I am working on, on a couple new books. And I want to say this about books. You know, I'm very proud of our books that are in this uh, holiday book sale that we're having now, Unprocessed, which is the new edition. We originally wrote the first edition uh, 11 years ago. And Own Your Health, which you contributed 75 recipes to. And the text is about nutrition, a personal emphasis on nutrition that is my personal story. Um, and what happens with books, as you know, AJ, is when you launch them, they get a lot of attention. They sell a lot of copies. People write reviews, it's exciting. But then a year later, there are thousands of new books and people kind of forget about them but the books are just as good now as they were when they launched, you know? So I kind of hate it when people forget about them. That's why we're, uh, the publisher is doing this new sale. And I really recommend these two books. And, um, you know, I just wish that there, there's, there was some way to keep people's attention on books post launch, but that's very hard to do because there are always new books launching. Absolutely. Are you able to say what the new project you're working on is? Um, well, um, one of them I uh, won't talk about yet. And the other one is uh, the, the strongest argument I can make against eating animal foods. Um, and so it is, um, it is written in a style that's meant to be a little bit comic, but um, just... Uh, I'm, 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 I'm doing something that nobody does because nobody wants to do it because vegans are very gentle people, AJ. We don't normally like to criticize meat eaters. Um, and so, you know, always in the plant-based movement, we try to encourage meat eaters to, to you know, try it, try it for a day, try it for a week, eat plant-based, but we never say anything critical of meat eaters because we don't want to be judgmental. And we understand that this is the culture people are born into. We ourselves, you know, grew up in a culture where I ate meat. I had McDonald's as a kid, and, you know, until I was 17. Um, but I'm trying to make the point in the new book that it is very foolish to destroy the planet and to destroy our own health uh, by doing something that's not part of the human diet. And so I'm, I'm not calling people any names. I'm just saying that what they're doing is foolish. And I think we have to say that. I think we have to you know, stop being quite so gentle and say, you know, you're a smart person, but what, what you're doing is not so smart. Because you're destroying your health, 
and you're destroying the planet, and never mind how cruel it is to the animals right now, it's, it's, it's foolish to destroy your own health and destroy the planet that gives us health and gives us life. And, you know, it's just, you know, with the climate crisis the way it is, I think we can't afford to be quite so gentle anymore. I think we have to um, be a little edgier in our rhetoric without trying to offend people, but to say what, what you're doing is foolish. It's just foolish to eat animals. There's no health benefit that has ever been established for eating any animal food, period. So why would you do that instead of eating something like this? So that will be one of my next books. And when can we expect that? I think in the summer. Yeah. Nice. Well, go ahead. That, the recipe looks good. Is, does your wife eat that as well with you? Do you make enough I for two? Uh, 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 yes, she does. Yes, she does. And, um, uh, and I do a lot of the cooking around this house, except when we want to eat food that is delicious. Then Joanna cooks. Nice. Well, it looks very tasty. So thank you so much. Thank you, AJ. Great to see you. And thanks for helping me finish all my books. And two of our books are bundled in a special till the 31st from the publisher, free shipping in the U.S. with lots and lots of bonuses, extra recipe videos. Check it out. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you soon, Glenn. Hope to see you soon, AJ. Take care. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Take care, everyone.